Scientists have just found a way to bend space itself so that the apparent speed of light can be surpassed. Here's the real talk on what that means and why it could change everything. This is huge news because for the first time never, scientists have bent the rules of physics and made space move faster than light. And it only took them 30 years of trying to get here. Last week, physicists at NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio announced they had created a warp bubble, not in a science fiction movie, but right here on good old Earth in an actual laboratory. Physicists are pretty sure that nothing can travel faster than light. Well, space and time intertwine, in a cosmic fabric called spacetime, are directly affected by gravity. The laser ring was designed to create a specific pattern of light and matter waves that when combined resulted in a region of warped spacetime, with significantly reduced gravity. By doing this, they created a bubble of slower time. They then fired a second laser at the bubble that was timed perfectly to hit the inside of the bubble at exactly the same moment the light from the first laser exited the bubble. The result? The two beams of light merged together into one, making it appear as though the light traveled faster than the speed of light to meet up with the second beam. As a thank you, we have some exclusive rewards like blooper reels and a peek behind the scenes at our video. When there's more mass, there's more gravity which speeds time up. When there's less mass, there's less gravity, which slows time down. What NASA scientists did in their lab is create an area of low gravity to effectively slow down time. And this is where the warp bubble comes in. So if you want something to go faster, you have to either get it closer together or make it take less time. The problem is, those aren't really options when it comes to traversing the vast distances of space. It is more accurate to say that the space-time around it has been manipulated so that it appears to be moving faster than light. The warp bubble created in this experiment only lasted for 22 milliseconds and covered a distance of 7 centimeters. It also required a whole lot of power and an environment free of any outside disturbances. So while this doesn't mean we're going to see warp drive technology anytime soon, it's a great first step. Now we just need to figure out how to make bubbles bigger, stronger and longer lasting. Oh, and we need to figure out how to power them without getting the entire universe sucked into a black hole. You know, just the usual stuff. But this is still a big deal because it means that the universe doesn't necessarily have to be limited by the speed of light. If we can bend space, then maybe interstellar travel isn't as far out of reach as we think. Maybe it won't even take centuries to get to the nearest stars. Warp drives could be a reality within our lifetimes. The only thing we can really change is time. And that's what these scientists did. They changed the amount of time it took light to travel between two points by bending space itself. That's literally how the universe is structured. Nothing even begins to approach the speed of light except, well, light. So when scientists say they've broken the cosmic speed limit, you might think they're stretching the truth a little bit. But this isn't about spaceships or photons or anything like that. Instead, it's about the very definition of speed itself. Okay, wait, let's back up a minute. See, speed is defined as the distance between two points over the amount of time it takes to get from one point to another. When you're in free fall, time effectively stops we do and notice it when we read just falling to the Earth's surface under gravity because the effect is cancelled up by the fact that the ground is also in free fall alongside us. But if you were to get away from the gravitational pull of a planet, time would slow down dramatically compared to someone who was close to a planet's surface. This is called gravitational time dilation. Time passes normally near a massive object where gravity is strong but it slows down in space where gravity is weak. This is all possible thanks to a weird quirk of physics. So what does this have to do with bending space? The team created their warp bubble by placing a ring-shaped laser in a box filled with super-cooled rubidium vapor. To be clear, no physical thing is actually moving faster than light. But there's still a lot of work to be done. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some space time to bend. If you enjoyed this video and want to help us spend space time with our own hands, 
then consider supporting us through our platform.